Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3. If you guys enjoy these videos, please do drop a like because it definitely does help the series out a lot. But on today's part, we're going to be doing Joey Leone's missions. Now, this is actually Salvatore's son. And like I said in my last part, I don't hey, know why he when doesn't appear in, in Liberty City off. Stories. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to 8-Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know 8-Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be in forever. So, notice how, um, uh, notice how in this game, the, they're not called the Ferrelli crime family. They're instead called the Ferrelli brothers. Um, and that's a reason for that, because ever, ever since Fort Staunton got destroyed in Liberty City Stories, the Ferrelli family has been crippled. So it's no longer really a crime family, it's more like a gang. And so this place that, um, uh, that Claude is going to right now, this is the St. Mark's Bistro. And this is actually a really important building in um, GTA games. Uh, this is the same building that actually CJ actually goes to in, um, uh, in that one mission in San Andreas where you go to Liberty City and then you shoot up the, um, the Ferrelli restaurant. This is actually this place right here. The Ferrellis have owned this restaurant for a long time. So this is the Ferrelli's car. Okay. We take it to 8 Paul's garage. Put a bomb inside. And, um, the St. Mark's Bistro, that is actually the same restaurant that, um, uh, Vice City actually starts in. So, you, you know that initial cutscene in Vice City, where you just see, um, where you see Sonny Ferrelli just sitting down with the rest of his guys talking about what to do with Tommy? That is actually in the St. Mark's Bistro. Here we go. Cars armed with a bomb. Park the car back at Marco's Bistro. Okay, let's do it. Carbon's been activated. Let's get out of here. And there is Ferrelli. And this is actually, um, this guy's the brother of, um, Franco Ferrelli, um, who was killed in Liberty City Stories, Marco Ferrelli, who was killed in San Andreas, and Sonny Ferrelli, who was killed in, um, Vice City. There's a lot of Ferrelli brothers. And there we go. Okay, let's go do Joey's next mission. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Okay, so we're going to Chinatown now. Now, um, uh... Uh, Chong is selling Spank in Chinatown, and like I said earlier, Spank is, um, a GTA parody of crack cocaine. This mission is really easy. You just gotta watch out for a few, um, few of his guards here. The only one that's really a problem is the guy with the gun. And that was it. That was a really easy mission, right? 
but it gets really, really hard later on. Okay, let's get back to Joey's garage. Van Heist. Oh, I remember this one. All right, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. This mission, um, I don't like this mission, and it, the reason I don't like this mission, it's not hard. It's not, it's not, um, it's not a hard mission, but the, the reason I don't like this mission is because it takes kind of long. It's a little time-consuming, um, and also you're probably going to have to switch out multiple vehicles. So you gotta hit the payroll van that's carrying a lot of money. The van is actually armored, and you can't, um, you cannot, um, shoot it. So what you have to do is you have to keep ramming it until it stops. And so you're probably gonna have to go through a few cars to do this. That's a little frustrating thing. Okay, like 40% there already. But look at my car, it's already smoking, see? There, we got like half of it now. What's that noise? Two stars now. Yep, see? Yeah, this is why I don't like this mission, because of that, because you gotta switch a few cars and you gotta watch out and the cops can also hijack you and, uh, and then it would be automatic mission to fail. right there in the alley. Okay. We lead the cops away, just so it's easier to get the van. Now let's get the van. Whoa, no, 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 no. There we go. And we got it. And like I said, the payouts in this game are really generous. Like, um, the missions is pay you much more than in other, um, uh, than in other GTA games. Cipriani chauffeur. This is it now. Um, we meet Tony from uh, Liberty City Stories. You know I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. All right, listen, this guy he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? <laughs> Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. 
I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk heat. So no fancy crap, okay? So this this is Tony. This is Tony Cipriani, the guy we played as in Liberty City Stories. Um, so he's a capo regime, which is a captain in the Leone family now. And um, GTA 3 is the first time that we actually saw him. Um, he then appeared in a prequel three years earlier. So yeah, Tony put on a little bit of weight um, since Liberty City Stories. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Now remember Tony's problem with the triads in um, Liberty City. Um, in Liberty City Stories. Well, it blows over into war now, this time here. Well, they did, they had war in 1998, too, but, um, uh, this is, this is gonna go full scale here. It's a triad ambush! Get us out of here, kid! And we take him to his mom's restaurant right here. The triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. Their own blood-stained clothes. So we can start taking missions from Tony, but um, we're probably going to save that for the next part. I want to focus on Joey's missions on, um, on this part. Uzi is now in stock, okay. You know, the funny thing is, I just realized I took Tony's car. So Joey was like fixing this car up for Tony, and he's like, drive me home. And I just took Tony's car, and he's perfectly fine with that. <laughs> Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. Alright, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, alright? Okay, so let's get on over there. And now this mission, I think we're gonna, um... I think we're gonna stop by and get some guns first. I got all your own defense needs. Okay, that Uzi, um, should do. He's it's the Ferrelli brothers. Whoa, whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. That was close. They're gonna catch up to me, that car's faster. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Okay, what is this? What is he doing? Is this? Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get dizzy from this. Wonderful. Oh, what a stupid way to fail a mission because the guy kept driving around in circles I was really hoping his car wouldn't blow up there. Oh, take two Okay, let's try this one more time here 
steps I used to take. out of here. in nearby Carcer City. A good day for law and order as police chief Gary Shaver was cleared of corruption charges in a controversial decision by the courts. Let's hope those missing witnesses turn up safe and sound. Lips 106. We've got a new friend for everyone. So here we're at Harwood. Now, a few important things happen in the storyline in Harwood. This is actually where JD gets whacked in Liberty City stories. And also, this is actually the same place where um, uh, Tommy Versetti actually got ambushed. So, um, Tommy Versetti actually used to be part of the Ferelli um, crime family in the 70s. And what happened was Sonny Ferelli sent him over here to this area to actually kill someone. But when Tommy arrived, it was actually an ambush. So Tommy killed, I think it was 11 men, and he got 15 years in prison. So this was actually around the area where Tommy got ambushed. That's why Tommy is actually called the Harwood Butcher in Vice City, because this is Harwood. Okay. Oh, well, looks like we got a trophy, too. Okay. Okay, I think... I think we'll have one more uh, Joey mission. The getaway. I'm trying to remember. This is. Let me see, try to remember what this mission is. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. Okay, so we got a bank robbery. Engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. The way to make this mission easier is right there in that alleyway that you guys saw, there was actually a bribe. So it makes the mission a little easier because then you have to deal with two stars, not three stars. Oh. I gotta completely lose the one in level. Wonderful.
Yeah, it's, it's painted the exact same color. Yeah, the cops are so not going to notice that, right? And there we go, we did it. Nice little payday there, too. So, um, uh, I guess we'll end it off here. Um, that was actually Joey's last mission, then, I guess. Um, so in the next part, we'll be doing Tony's missions. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.